Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. And those of you cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love messages. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see how is it that you come across um, to other people. So what's their first impression of you? What do they first notice about you? What are they most drawn to you? It is going to be a general reading, guys. Please keep that in mind. If you're after a personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed below the video. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what the cards reveal. You are extremely reliable. Those that know you, those that know you very well, know just how know just how reliable and committed you can be. Very practical, very grounded. Um, you're someone who is known to value stability, uh, permanency, security. You're a very solid kind of energy and you're someone you're someone who doesn't give up very easily. Okay. If you have a goal, um, if you have a dream or aspiration, you chase it. You chase it until it's something that you've existed that you've um attained. You're very slow to anger, okay those that know you know those that know you well know you know that you're not someone who is explosive or you know is prone to emotional outbursts um, you're slow to anger it takes a lot of effort to get you frustrated but when you do when you get a little bit annoyed you know they better watch out right um, you come across as someone who is very grounded someone who's very grounded someone who's very friendly someone who you know is a loyal friend is a friend till the end you're very patient you're very artistic you're very expressive um a lot of energy just a lot of good grounded earthly energy that you give off very committed um you're known to be immensely loyal and once you commit yourself to someone or something you commit all the way commitment is something that comes a little bit slow to you but that's because you want to be sure okay you're not someone who wants to um, you're not someone who wants to, you know, waste your time or anyone else's for that matter. You are someone who values quality over quantity and that is something that is very true uh, of you. You're also, you just bring good vibes. You bring good vibes, good energy. So when people notice you first or your first impression is just this, you know, you give off this overall good energy. And energy doesn't lie, right? Energy does not lie. You're someone who gets along very easily with other people, okay? And even if upon people's first meeting with you, um, they just feel like there's this connection. There's this, you know, people just click with you right away. Like other signs and other elements like mesh well very, uh, mesh very well with you. You're just this natural fit. In particular with water signs, okay? It just feels like, you know, you need water to make plants grow right so your elements just mesh very well together um, you also you're also someone who can be very sensual you can be very sensual um, very inspiring as well you can come across sometimes as a little bit possessive or a little bit jealous towards other people um, but I feel like that just stems from your loyalty as well 
you do come across as someone who's a little flirty, someone who's a little flirty, someone who likes, you know, the attention, but you do, you, you do come across as someone who likes attention or affection as well, that those, you know, affection is very important to you. A little bit stubborn. I'm getting a little bit of stubborn energy. Um, you're quite analytical. You're very organized. Um, quite smart. A bit of a perfectionist as well. People notice that about you. You know, I don't know if they, like it's OCD or it's just you being very, you know, a perfectionist. You just want to do things right. Um, you've got this systematic approach to certain things in your life, and you know, people can see that. Um, people also come to you because you're so reasonable, you're very practical, you're logical, you're, um, you're also, well, you're a little OCD or you're a little obsessive about certain details and people just most certainly pick that up. Um, very ambitious, very hardworking. They can see that, maybe not right away, but eventually they can see that you are extremely sensitive and you can be someone who's very reflective deep inside. Um, but they just have to get past that, you know, that, I guess, stoic barrier. You're not one to sit by the sidelines. You're not. You're someone who, you know, you like to take action. You like to get things done. You're very organized. You have a meticulous way of doing things. You have a systematic approach of doing things. Um, you rarely hold a grudge. You do. You rarely hold a grudge. So if people have wronged you or if they've crossed paths with you, you're not someone who, you know, um, holds a grudge. You're someone who forgives. You're very forgiving. People come to you for advice. They do. They come to you for advice. Um, you can also be a bit of a trickster at times, okay? You've got the chariot, the seven of swords. You come across as someone who is maybe very playful or someone who, you know, likes to likes to muck around a little bit. Structure is very pers is very important and personal to you, right? Organization, structure, and people notice that about you. You're um, you're also very connected to, very sensual, and you're very connected to your body and your desires. Um, people see you as someone who's on their way or on the road to success. That's just how you come across. You are someone that you know you. At the end of the day, people know that whatever it is that you set your eyes on, you achieve. So it's like they, they know that you're destined for success. You are you also can be a little bit, you know, despite you're very organized and you're very um, perfectionist waste, you can be someone who's very, you're very um, unique and you're very, you can, we did mention that, you know, that there's, a stubbornness about you but I feel like you can be very unique and indivi individual especially in your dress sense guys I feel like you know you like to be very expressive in that regard you also like to you love some of you love to indulge but you love to eat well you love to take good care of yourself your body you know um, your health and that shows you can't wait to try, especially when it comes to food, you can't wait to try, like, the new restaurant that's just opened up, or the new cafe that's just, you know, started out. You're a creature of habit, let's face it, everyone knows that about you, you're certainly a creature of habit, and um, you are someone who, you are someone that people come to for advice, especially when it comes to relationships, because they know it's sort of like you've mastered that you've mastered the long-term relationship partnership thing and people come to you for advice because they know that you got that in the bag um they know that you're also like you've got this symbol of strength to you people come to you to problem solve because you've got this very analytical mind you, you like to see things from different perspectives you like to see the problems from different sides um, 
You don't like to be called emotional, do you? You you like to stick to your word. Um, you like to stick to commitment, and you like to stick to your plans. And people see that. You're also a very uh, you're a romantic, very sensual. You love to love love. Um, you love romance and. There's this open energy, there's this openness, this open heart about you. And there's a very deeply emotional side to you as well that I feel like people maybe tend to forget at times. Um, but those closest to you do see that. And, you know, they do see just how sensitive and affectionate. Um, you just don't wear your heart on your sleeve, but you can be very sensitive. Um, You're also someone who asks themselves questions, like the bigger questions in life, like, you know, where do you belong and how, what is your true purpose? What is your, tr your true path? So you can be quite, you know, you like to see things from a higher perspective, I guess, and people see that about you. You're, you do have this tendency, though, I don't see you holding grudges, I don't see you blaming, but you do have... You know, if you hold on to any hurt or pain, it's because you haven't processed through that yet. It's not because you're holding on to a grudge or resentment. I don't I don't think this is something that's in your nature. Or people don't necessarily see you that way. You've got this great energy about you where I feel like you're very uplifting. People feel, you know, it's just this good energy that we spoke about excuse me that we spoke about people feel good when they're around you people you know feel good in your presence that you just give off these good vibes like you know they feel safe with you they feel like they can trust you you're very sociable you're very personable you're someone who it's this connectedness you're able to connect with people very well Okay, guys, and these are your messages. Thank you for watching and for listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, or subscribing to this channel. Bye.